Hi, this is Vaughn from Spirit of Health, and this is a video about the liver, the crucial importance of the liver. It is arguably the most important organ in the human body for health overall. It's implicated in almost every chronic sickness or disease. It is the fourth leading cause of death is liver-related disease, but I would even put it higher than that because anybody with cancer or major chronic degenerative illness is going to have a compromised liver. They say 25% of people in America have a fatty liver. That's a big problem. Millions of people have hepatitis. And if you look at the role that the liver plays in human health, you'll understand that this is a, a, a crucial one that you're going to want to take care of. If you want to not fear sickness and disease and you want to restore health to your body you really have to look at the crucial role that the liver plays a nickname for the liver is the general of the army that's actually what they call it in chinese medicine they call it the general of the army so you think about your immune system as an army and the the lymphatic system and all the spleen all these different uh, parts of the body that play a role in the immune system your gut plays a huge role in immune health but the liver is the general and the reason that the liver is the general is because it filters and processes everything that goes through the human body via the bloodstream because as you've heard me say many many times and I will continue to stress is that the life of all flesh is in the blood Leviticus 17 the way our amazing creator created this body is to keep blood healthy and there's a lot of ways the body keeps the blood healthy but the liver is the first and foremost way because every single thing that enters your body has to go through your liver and I'm gonna explain that in a little more detail some of the crucial roles that the liver plays in health the way it works is your body eats and digests food and it breaks it down into smaller particles and those smaller particles go into the small intestines and then they go into your blood and everything that goes through your blood goes through your liver. Now what's amazing about the liver is the liver decides, the, think about the intelligence of our creator. The liver decides what's good, what's nourishing, what's healthy, what needs to go supply life to the rest of the body and it also decides what is toxin, what is waste, and what needs to be eliminated. So again, you can see why the liver is so important because it is the main organ that filters everything going in the human body through our food and through our digestion. So it separates nutrition from waste. Couple other functions that the liver does is it produces bile. And bile is what's stored in the gallbladder and it helps to digest fats but it also helps to emulsify stool and remove solid waste out of the body. Another way that the liver neutralizes toxins to eliminate waste is it takes ammonia, which is a byproduct of metabolism. So for example, when you eat meat, it creates ammonia as a waste byproduct, which is why getting away from meat is gonna help people get healthier because it creates a lot of toxic load on the body, all this ammonia, but what it does is it neutralizes it into something called urea, U-R-E-A, and eliminates it through the kidneys. And that's the job of the liver is to break ammonia down into urea to be eliminated out the body. If you've ever known anyone who had cancer or if you've been involved around clinics where people go for cancer therapies, you will actually smell the ammonia. And it's the overworked liver that can no longer break down ammonia into urea to be eliminated and the person's body smells like ammonia. It starts to overtake the body and degrade and destroy the human body. Again, a crucial function of the liver. Some of the other things it does is it stores minerals. So if you have liver deficiency, you're gonna be mineral deficient. It stores all your fat soluble vitamins. So vitamin A, D, E, K, all your fat soluble vitamins. It also takes sugar which is glucose, and it uses sugar as energy. It converts it into something called glycogen. Glycogen is stored sugar in the body, and when you need sugar and you need fuel or you need to run really fast, it'll take that stored sugar and convert it into energy to give your body some life force. Uh, let's see, what else does it do? 
It, um, it secretes bile to help break down and digest food and eliminate solid waste. Um, it works hand in hand with the lymphatic system because it has to dump toxins and waste out through the lymph and therefore out through the kidneys to eliminate these byproducts as it breaks them down. The liver also plays a crucial role in um, female health. So menstruation was the word I was looking for. In a woman's cycle, there's a huge supply of increase in blood flow right around a woman's cycle to prepare potentially for a baby because increased blood volume is needed if there's going to be a new life forming in the womb. And that large supply of blood has to be filtered out through the liver. Also hormones that are being circulated through the, through the blood and utilized for different functions, when they are used up or done, they have to be eliminated out through the liver. So any woman who has issues with pregnancy, major issues with morning sickness or nausea, there's a liver issue. It's not normal, it's not what's supposed to happen during pregnancy, it's a liver issue. When women have major issues around their cycle and major PMS symptoms and cramping and bloating and misery related to their menstrual cycle, there's a liver issue. The increase in blood volume is not being handled properly by the liver, which results in these symptoms. So again, I always wanna share with you that there's a reason we have symptoms. There's a reason different things are occurring in our bodies and it's because of the liver in this case that's not functioning optimally. Another thing that the liver does is it is really important for the immune system. There's these cells in the, in the liver called Kupfer cells, K-U-P-F-F-E-R, I think, Kupfer cells. And they look like little uh, octopus. And what they do is they neutralize and they engulf toxins and poisons and waste and uh, proteins that are, un, that are used up and bacteria and viruses and fungus and it's a really crucial part of the immune system to the liver is as well. So there's a couple ways, I wanna explain how the liver breaks down and neutralizes poisons. One thing it does, and you might have heard of phase one, phase two liver detoxification, if not, we'll talk about it now. But phase one is, is again, you eat food, it breaks it down into smaller particles, it goes into the liver to be decided if you're good or you're waste. And one of the things it does is it burns up using oxygen and enzymes. It burns up waste to be eliminated from the body. And it makes it water soluble so it's easily eliminated out the fluid systems of the body. And then stage two is the, the, the toxins, now that they're neutralized, combine with amino acids and sulfur to be actually eliminated by the body by bile or out through urine. So through your bowels or out through your kidneys. So think about if your liver's not functioning right. And we're gonna get to the symptoms of it and it'll all make sense to you. But when these undigested food particles can't get neutralized properly, the toxins and the waste can't get eliminated out properly, then this is a lot of health issues we're struggling with today like food allergies and food sensitivities and people breaking out in hives. And again, we'll go over that list but there's a reason that people are suffering with so many symptoms today of various health issues and a blocked up congested liver is a huge, huge piece of that puzzle. What is crucial is fasting because you're trying to restore health to your body and your blood and this is why people need to get away from dairy and grains and meat and all of these heavy processed foods because the liver is so overstressed and overburdened that it can't keep the blood clean and healthy. And again, the life of all flesh is in the blood. It's the main purpose of your liver is to keep your blood clean. And if the life of all flesh is in the blood, that's a pretty, pretty big job. And your liver's big, it's bigger than your head. It like is covered here by your rib cage and it's huge. Just to share a, a little personal story with you. I've been working through my health for years. Some of you may or may not know that. The liver's always been a big issue for me. It has been in my family. And I've done numerous liver gallbladder flushes. I've done a lot of fasting and I'm still working on my body. I'm still working on my liver. So I'm really excited about learning more about the liver and doing this with you and doing this cleansing with you because it's helping me to understand uh, my body and my health better as well. So that gives you some ideas of some of the functions and the important role that the liver plays. 
how crucial it is to human health. You know you can't live without your liver. If you do lose part of your liver, part of it can grow back. I mean, it's a very strong, versatile organ, but people have to get liver transplants. I mean, again, it plays a huge role in the immune system. People have to take immunosuppressant drugs because the liver is foreign to that body and is trying to figure out you know all the antibodies and all this new blood coming in that's not of this organ and so uh, y y you really want to take care of your liver because without it you know there's there's really no chance at a, at a good healthy a healthy life and you want to work on it when the symptoms show up well before it turns into a chronic degenerative illness so that's why looking at symptoms is so crucially important because we can know what's going on with our body before we get some diagnosis or before we even have blood work that's out of line. So when your liver's congested, here are some of the things that happen. You have difficulty concentrating, you have brain fog, you're getting headaches and migraines, especially right here behind the eyes. They call them biliary headaches when they're throbbing behind your eyes or in your temple area because biliary means bile, it's related to the liver. In Chinese medicine, they always talk about how the liver and the blood nourishes and feeds the eyes. So eyesight problems or floaters or vision issues often related to liver problems as well. Rashes, skin problems, eczema, psoriasis, brown spots called liver spots are just that. It is a problem with the liver. It's not just aging, it's toxicity of the liver. And so any skin related condition, um, itching all over the skin is a common symptom of liver congestion. My wife, when we were pregnant with our first girl, um, partway into her pregnancy, all over body itching. It revealed the weakness in her liver. The pregnancy did that because of the increased blood volume, because of the increased stress on the body. It put extra stress on the liver and she started getting these symptoms. And so that's, again, that's a way you know what's going on so that you can work on it. You can understand it. You don't have to run to the hospital and run to the doctor and do all these crazy tests and procedures and drugs. You understand how the human body works and what these symptoms are and what organ it relates to. Intolerance to fats, heavy foods, fried foods, makes people nauseous, they can't digest them very well. Chronic constipation or diarrhea or alternating constipation and diarrhea, weight gain and struggle to gain weight, uh, struggle to lose weight, or the opposite, where you actually get really thin and you can't gain weight. A congested liver can cause either of those conditions. Fatigue is a big one with people with liver issues. You've probably heard of anemia. That's common with liver issues, a lack of. Anemia isn't just an iron deficiency. It's a lack of the ability of oxygen to get to blood cells to make healthy red blood cells. And there's pernicious anemia, which is B12 deficiency. There's iron deficiency, but it's, it's really a toxicity condition where the body can't make oxygen in the blood. And so fatigue is a big, big issue with liver congestion. Uh, blood sugar issues, um, hormones being off, like I talked about with women, having hormone imbalances, issues for, around pregnancy, issues around the, the uh, monthly menstrual cycle. Sensitivities to smells, perfume, cigarette smoke, I mean, I don't like any of that stuff, but when you're hypersensitive to chemicals and smells, even healthy smells, um, everything bothers you, then that is a sign that your filter is blocked because the liver is a big filter. It filters out the good and the bad. And so when your filters block, you're going to be more sensitive to uh, different smells and common things. Uh, Mood-wise or emotion-wise, moodiness, anger, irritability, um, struggling with um, unforgiveness, impatience, those are com common symptoms associated with uh, a, a congested liver. Waking up in the middle of the night or sleep problems. If you wake up between 1 and 3 a.m., a lot of people wake up every night at 2 a.m. or every night at 3 a.m., that's a liver problem, that's a liver congestion. Jaundice of the skin, yellowing of the eyes. I see that real clear in iridology when people have jaundice yellow eyes or these things called pinguaculas, these fatty deposits forming on the eyes, cholesterol rings forming on the eyes, dark brown in, the, in a blue-eyed person, dark brown or greenish hazelous eyes that look brown. 
that is a sign of liver congestion. There's so many signs of liver congestion in the eye that are, that are very easy to see. Chronic stiff upper neck and shoulders. Pain right between the shoulder blades is a common gallbladder symptom. Uh, I think I covered most of them. There's a lot of symptoms to liver stagnation. And so knowing those, if you have some of those symptoms, especially if a lot of them line up, you're going to want to work on your liver. But the main goal of this video is to know that the liver is crucial. It's the general of your army. It's the main organ responsible for filtering and detoxifying your blood. And if your blood's not healthy, you won't be healthy. This is God's design. We've got to clean up our blood. And to clean up our blood, we have to clean up our liver. So please encourage you to do the liver cleanse, to juice, to fast, to eat raw fruits and vegetables, to talk to the Lord, to do whatever it takes to get this giant liver healthy and functioning again because it is key to restoring life to any health condition you're struggling with, but also again to uh, allow you that freedom from the bondage of sickness and disease that so many people are struggling with today. God bless.